I'm sure by now we've all seen that uh, episode up in, um, I think it was Brooklyn, where the woman was in the, I think she was in the liquor store, and the, the young boys surrounded her. I think they tried to, to talk to her, and she dissed them, and then they surrounded her, took her cell phone, and bit her in the face. Now, okay, ladies, uh, dudes, too, if you're ever confronted by somebody that's wearing glasses, you ain't got to do nothing but flail your arms to knock their glasses right off their face. They're not going to be able to see. You really don't. I mean, seriously, like that, that's street fight tactic number one. You fighting a dude with the glasses, he's already at a disadvantage. You knock the glasses off his face, okay? And he's not going to be able to see you. And then you can stick your thumb in his eye or something like that. But that that's not what this video is about. This video is about the fact that uh, the woman in this video, she's calling for the men to get these boys in line. When we all know the story, these women raise these boys to do things like that, to not to be able to handle rejection. Because that's what it was. That they rejected her advances and they couldn't handle it. Like a woman. Do you notice how women can't handle your rejection, fellas? They, they can't handle that. You reject a woman, she hates you forever. I mean, really, because uh, I'm not going to get off into that. But we know that women just don't like rejection. So these dudes here, these young boys, couldn't take the rejection that the woman gave them. So they had to do something to her. And, you know, I'm not, I'm one of them educated lames that. You know, you black women thought weren't good enough to procreate with. Well, some of, I, some of you thought that. Some of you didn't. But, uh, you know, you didn't want to procreate with a guy like me. But now when the kids are acting up, you want me to come and uh, nurture some children that I didn't even sire. That, that's even happened in my real world. Can you say something to my son? No. Where's his father at? No. Uh-uh. And don't y'all do that, fellas. If a woman comes to you and tells you that she's having problems with her son and she wants you to talk to him, no, don't talk to him. Ask her where his father is. That's what you ask her. So, and then also, uh, piggybacking off of that story where the woman got uh, surrounded by some hyenas, you know about the story, I think it's in New York too, where the, I think she was a Nigerian immigrant. She told her son to get a job and he killed her well that's nothing more than the byproduct of Pookie and Ray Ray she had Pookie and Ray Ray seed that's why he killed her an educated lame seed even if the educated lame is not in the picture the educated lame his seed knows to go out and get it he just knows how to do the right thing he just knows how to do it because it's in, it's part of his genetic makeup from his father so when the woman when her son killed her that's because his father would have killed her. Seriously. I live in the hood, man. And there's garbage in my in my yard every single day. I pick up the garbage in my yard. And I pick up the garbage in the yard in the house to my left and to my right. Because it's eventually going to blow into my yard. So I want to get it before it blows into my yard. I'm not going to go around... And, and and pick up the garbage on the other blocks or, or if I see some kids throw something on the ground telling them you know you live here too so you wouldn't you, you shouldn't want to you know make your neighborhood look a mess like this I'm not saying nothing to these niggas at all like I don't I don't have no interest in uplifting the black community I don't have no interest in tearing it down either it's going to tear down on its own I don't need to do anything I just want to sit back put some microwave popcorn in the microwave and sit back and eat it and watch two-thirds of you black people not make it to wherever it is that we're going to be going i know i'm going to make it because i don't want to deal with most of you niggas out here and i'm not about to try to save the community i tried that when i was in the school district and thinking i was going to have an impact on people whose mother on children whose mother went to the sixth grade how am i going to instill value of education in you I mean, I wasted a good portion of my professional career dealing with a bunch of kids who come from homes that they just ain't going to make it. And I'm not going to sit there and put energy into that. I'm not going to put energy into uplifting or tearing them apart. I'm going to just sit back, like I said, and pop my popcorn and eat it and watch you niggas fail. 